Okay, so what I want to highlight today just for a couple of minutes are some of the debugging features that are in VS Code that aren't in or weren't in like Replit or BlueJ or things like that. VS Code is a professional integrated development environment. It has a lot of professional level tools, including for debugging. Um, so I want to show you a couple of those today because this can save you a tremendous amount of time when you're debugging. Um, the first thing I want to show you um, is, is setting breakpoints, but showing you how you can have more control over your breakpoints in VS Code than we do in BlueJay. So for example, let's say I wanna, I wanna be able to debug this loop down here, this for loop. Um, and so I click over here in the left gutter, much like BlueJay, right? To the left of the line number. And I have a little red dot there, that's a breakpoint. In my toolbar, if I go down to the run and debug button, I can see the breakpoints here at the end, including the one I just set, which is stack demo.java. And it, it would have the line number here if there's more room on the screen. But here's the really cool feature in VS Code. I can click the edit icon here and I can edit a condition when the breakpoint is hit. So think back over your debugging experience. How many times have you, you're trying to debug something and you find yourself stepping through a loop and it happens on like, the 57th iteration and you're like, next, 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 like 57 times until you get there. And then you lose track and you hit it one too many times and you missed it and you got to start again. Um, I've been there a lot and I get really frustrated. So instead what you can do is you can set a condition on your breakpoint. Your condition to be some, could be an expression. Um, this expression could be, you know, when I could do something like, commands.size equals four, right? When there are four elements left in the stack, this is when I know there's the issue. And this loop will just run until that happens. Or you can do a hit count. Okay, yes, I have a breakpoint on line 30, but I don't wanna stop the first time. I wanna stop the fourth time. And I can do that. Um, and there's other things too, you can also like, actually have it log a message as it runs through your breakpoint and things like that. But we're going to do this hit count thing. So now if I debug this, it's hit my breakpoint. And if I look up here where all the variables are, I can see that I is three. This is the fourth time that breakpoint was hit because first I was zero and then one and then two, and now it's three. So this is the fourth time. Okay. So I didn't have to sit there and hit go four times to get here or a hundred times to get here, I just specify the hit count. The other thing I wanna show you, which is cool is, so all your variables are up here, which is nice. They're annotated here, which is helpful. So you can see things a little bit easier, especially like strings, which is great. You can spin open things like um, different data structures, also great. There's also this watch thing. Um, this watch thing, you could put variables here, but you can see them right here. So that's not super useful. So this is more useful, like if you wanna drill into like um, some sort of a class to be able to look at something, or you can even put methods here. So I can do commands.size, like call a method in my watch. And this will always be updated as I step through my code, which is super, super cool. Um, so like I'm calling Java code through the debugger, right? Which is, is neat. So you can have as much watch stuff here as you want. Sometimes when you have a bunch of these, some of them might not be in scope, so they just won't have a value and that's fine. But when they come back in scope, you'll see them again. So between conditional breakpoints um, and this watch thing um, and being able to just glance and see the values here, the variables. Oh, and I guess one more thing too. Not only can you look here to see the values of your variables, but there's annotations in the source code as well. Do you see this stuff highlighted in like the light yellow or orange? I can see that commands is a, refers to a stack. It currently has four elements. I can see the value of I is currently three. Um, this is nice because the information you're looking for is right in the code you're reading while debugging. You don't even have to look over in another pane. So these are like awesome, awesome efficiency features in VS Code.